kung bago ka at hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa ating channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para maging updated ka sa lahat ng mga kaganapan, kaguluhan at kasiyahan mangyayari sa ating channel. Ganun yun! Ganun yun! You will never know what's your capability and your abilities unless kung inyo pong itong susubukan. Sabi nga nila, paano mo malalaman kung kaya mo kung hindi mo siya itry? Is it worth trying? Yan po ang ating kwento sa ating Today with King ngayon. Kasaysay, are you ready? Hi! Welcome back sa aking YouTube channel. For today's video ay kasama po natin ang ating 2021 Hermosa Festival Sambuanga Mascota Competition, the fifth placer, Ian Salvador. Hi po. Hi Ian. Hi sir. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to say thank you for giving me this opportunity that you're here with us sa ating vlog at sa ating channel. Now, five of you won on the recently concluded Mascota Festival. Yes, ma'am. Now, amongst the five of you, I have chosen to actually interview you. Thank you. <laughs> Very special reasons because una mong sumaba. Yes, po. First and time. you placed. Yes, po. <laughs> Men who have thought na first timer and bago lang din ako sa industry of fashion. I've started working in the industry of fashion. Uh, Two years ago, yeah. Two years ago, after, before and after I graduated now, college. Ilan kayong lahat na sinubukan ang mascota festival this um, year? There How were 19 entries. 19 entries. Both, imagine that. They're both from new designers and also the designers that are known na po dito sa atin locally. Now, first question, Ian, is what made you decide? To join, who inspired you to join? Um, honestly, po at a very young age, as what I've said also sa interviews namin previously, uh, at a very young age, me and my grandmother kada fiesta pilar, we always sat sa TVs. Kasi before kasi de ba pag meron na talaga yung mga video sa pinopo sa TV regarding fiesta pilar, and the very day na hinihintay namin is yung mascota. I don't know why, what what triggers me, pero it really excites me. And I remember before. Talama pa yun na GBPI, like, Sir, kwando man air el mascota ang sinansina? Kasi, I'm waiting. Kasi, I'm looking forward for the designs and the designers also. Yun. I remember also, the, uh, two of the judges namin sa mascota is, nag-join sila before. And I think one of them won that time. So, yun. So, what inspires me is that, I don't know, uh, I, I, really, I, I really don't, find my job right now as as seriously as before na I will be here kasi sketching to me before is just past time if I'm stressed tan sketch tapos kung boring sa fabric ko sa ko sa ase until I, I got to cut things na I have this my little niece uh, tang cut yo ano o oh, fabrics make them dresses like what do you want what do you want dresses they want cinderella they want bell they want ano sleeping beauty okay go sakay cortina tela toro bed sheet i'm gonna cut it and make it a dress with by hands and eventually i got to develop it in high school kasi i i undergo sa theater club and as well as a college na rin. and then eventually i get to realize na why not make it seriously like it's my passion naman to do designs and eventually an opportunity knocked me 2018. It was the summer of 2018. So four months walang class. So I've decided na why not make my four months summer productively. So a friend of mine uh, introduced me to a designer which is uh, made me work where I am right now. And I'm very thankful to that kasi the experiences, the learning. Can you mention the designer? Um, the, de the, the, ver the designer whom I'm working right now and it's one of our friends is Sir Frederick Rodriguez. And I'm, and I'm very thankful because he welcomed me and taught me a lot like the basis in sewing, 
the basis in using of fabrics and eventually I got to learn on my own as well as him teaching me and I'm very grateful to that. So, so going back, so what inspires me to join to very join the mascota is the promise of me to my grandmother. It, the, my very first entry, the Floria de Vera, is very close to me because it is my very first entry and I made a promise to my grandmother that, that if I got the chance and the opportunity to create my piece, I will name it after her. And then I told myself, why not try? Diba? Yun. So I've tried my best. I made studies and research and cre with creative minds and stuff. And as much as possible, I want to work my piece by myself. I, I cut things, um, trials and error until I, I got to make the pattern and then transfer the pattern to fabrics, the so placement of fabrics. So it's more of a personal choice of yes. joining yes. plus yung inspiration with your promise sa Lola mo. Yes, opo. Ganun po. That's and, very good. Yes. Yeah. And I also enjoy din kasi sewing and cutting and doing stuff like you also, uh, I, I know you, you do stuff like designs then no? Tama. So yun, so, nandun kasi yung excitement, kanatun, talagang excitement ti atun. Every time tan, kere kita man create stuff, like, si tan cut kita tan exciting, ya kita man cut, we want to finish it. Kasi kere ya kita mira el outcome, then, pag nandun ang outcome, inspiring, like, amazing na, like, amazing, like, how did I create this stuff? Like, it's just in my mind, now it's here. Tangible na siya, diba? That, that amazes me. So okay. yun. So talking about the inspiration that you have shared us a while back about you named your mascota after your Lola, which is Gloria De Vera. Gloria De Vera. Now the mascota competition for this year, some Bongas Mo Hermosa Festival, also has its inspiration and theme, yeah. which is Chembra. This is also probably to give honor to all Sambongenyas and Sambongenyas who happens because of this pandemic, di ba? Ang dami nating uh, mga posibilidad na hindi natin nakalain na gagawin natin yes. is nagagawa natin. So a lot of us, that also probably includes me, very slight, na naging plantitos and plantitas. That's yeah. why this year's Mascota Festival has its own theme, which is Siembra. Yes. Now, you, your inspiration is... Cadena de Amor. The Cadena de Amor. Like... Amongst the billions, probably, of species of the plants we have, bakit Cadena de Amor? Um, Cadena de Amor, it really inspires me looking at the siembra itself. Because I remember I sat by our terrace one rainy afternoon, and I see my mother, like, tahilale. And then I asked my mom, Hila is si, hinihila. For the privilege yes. of my subscribers who yes. do, do not understand Chaba uh, Kano. So, tinatanggal pooling. niya. It's oh. pooling. Yeah. Sabi ko sa kanya, uh, I told her, Ma'am, por kito takita? Dali, no ay say, sakate lang say. Sabi ko, bonito kaya. Si Mira to, tapasal din to, takayle ko mo petals. Tan, uh, ano, bonito kaya. And then, sabi niya, okay, sige. Tos, she went inside. And I was there. And I got to realize na, a story that's that's really reflects us being Filipino. Sabi ko, I I will do this. I, I will do this as my siembra in the mascota because I want to reach out uh, being a designer, not just we get to only design, but in, into the pieces that I create, I want to give message to everyone. I want it to have a story, and the story goes like, I got to connect the cadena de amor to us being Filipinos. We flourish wherever we stand in this in this world, in this continent. We got to live, we got to survive. And the very beauty and the very essence that we get to contribute to wherever we are, to the community, to the country, is the very skills and the very talents that we have, the knowledge that we possess being Filipinos. So I got to realize that Cadena de Amor also is being underestimated somehow. Though it's beauty that gives to the nature, el being itself Natali Ele, then I realized na, yeah, it's very close to us being Filipinos because we are often underestimated. But then everyone gets to realize na, we have worth. Uh, the very thing na, we have contribution na nagagawa natin. And that's the beauty of the story that made me realize and made me inspired to create the Canela de Amor as my inspiration for the yeah, mascota. Yeah, because amongst the 19 
entries I have seen on Facebook and on, on other social media platforms. Sino, na, sino ba naman din na mag-aakala na ang isang simple kadena de amor <laughs> ay magkakaroon ng placement sa top 5, di ba? Yes. Like, there are so many beautiful plants out there. Pero itong kadena de amor, as you said, are being underestimated. Could actually, could actually we could grow inspiration yes. because the Mascota Festival, guys, kung hindi nyo lang po alam, has a lot of process. Di ba? Yes, really. Una-una, you have to submit the kind of fabrics, the... Probably the explanations of your yes. inspiration. The concept of design. Then amongst probably a hundreds or fifties of you who actually submitted your entries, only 19 of you passed. Yes. That after which, during the the preliminary competitions, the, uh, uh, aside for presenting your mascota, I believe that you have also undergone a certain interview to explain further. Yes your piece yes and that is why very uh, i mean i mean i have seen you i have visited you because uh her uh, his uh boss actually happens also to be my very close friend frederick rodriguez so i actually visited them and i have seen how 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 passionate you are or oh, i have seen uh how how committed you are the back like we are just there your friends who could actually like if we're seeing you tired we're just there to give you the, the strength and to lift you up thank you uh oh and from and for that ian congratulations thank again <laughs> more of our interview with our fifth placer of the mascota festival guys now we've mentioned that there were 19 fabulous and amazing entries for this year's mascota and i for myself like i have not seen it as a personal but looking at the pictures on the other so of well, the many social media platforms which I have seen, I can say na talagang ang hirap magplace yes. the ba with all the intricacy, all the detailed focus details ng bawat designer. Now, when you were announced that you are actually part of the top five, did you expect that? Honestly, like, I really didn't expect to be one of the top because, honestly, when we set up there, the very day that we set up, the, after that, the pre-judging and the final day, the final show, I've said to my model now, because my model also, she is a first-timer, and I, I, I told her na, man, enjoy ya lang ta, whatever happens, let's just enjoy, sabi ko, ang mascota mo magaan, go with it, just play with it, let's, let's play with the day, let's enjoy. And I never realized that I, I get to be one of the winner, that I become the fifth placer because like really honestly, when I got to see each of the details of the designers, like it really blew me off, especially three of them. Like honestly, I like, wow, amazing. Then I it inspires me to do best, to do more next time. How, how yeah. does it feel? At first, well, I, I mean, I, I mean uh, uh, my salutations doon sa mga, sa lahat ng 19. But how does it feel that you are there at the top 5? Lately lang kumigoy and sink in. Actually, it's Sunday the following day kasi the show happened is Sunday, uh, Saturday. Yeah. So it's Sunday. Ngayon ba lang kumigoy sino when I woke up sabi ko, nanalo pala ako, no? Ako pala yung top 5. And sabi ko, Okay, so we go. Really, because that the very night when we uh, ka, uh, go back home, tan message sila congratulations, congratulations. Pa kikay to sila sa iko abaka tang congratulate sila. That was that was that was the day of the competition yes. before the announcement. Yes, before the announcement. Okay. Because it announced, I think around. 8 p.m. after Tapos, the show. Tapos, kailan mo na lang nababasa yeah. yung mga message Tapos, nababasa ko sila mga around, around roughly 8 or past 8 ah, to okay, 9. Okay, okay. So, congratulations. So, post probably because the, the announcement was made online also, yes. correct? Yes, in duty. Uh, so, protocol. most likely, yung mga ibang kaibigan mo is nakatutok talaga. Mm -hmm. Kasi, as if you have said, like, in Sambonga City, wala pa naman din yung pandemic. We are also excited because there were several competitions made mm -hmm. Even more competitions made. Yung mga ilan is nakakan, nakancel talaga siya because hindi nga natin magawa. Because, like, hindi kaya because of our pandemic. Now, looking back as you said that you did not expect, eto na lang talaga, disclaimer lang. In your own humble opinion, bakit ka nanalo? 
I don't know, pero if I were to ask, maybe the inspiration that I drew mm -mm. within me to my piece, mm -mm. that's the very thing that I think made me want. The because, story of the mascot. Oh, kasi ang dami kasi niyang rules. Yes, to, really. To, there, there, there are so many, many rules yes. to follow. The standard. Uh, even the standards of sewing the mascot. The Plus, copy. ang dami pang ang mga inter, inter, interconnected na mga iba pang competitions, right? I see. Now, eto. If you are to judge on your humble opinion again, yes, who are your top five? Uh, my very top five will not go far from the winners. Okay. Yes, po. Uh, my very top five includes... Oh, sige, sasabihin natin. Ang pinakauna mo, disclaimer lang, at wala po tayong hurt feelings. This is only made for the content purpose. And we also have our own opinions and we should respect them. Correct? So, we will start with the first one. Sino yung grand winner mo? Um, para sa akin, ang pure for grand winner ko... Based on my experience, and and, 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 based, show, and based on yes, how, what we have seen, uh, and, and what amazes me, uh, Mr. Erich Minos. Oh, si Erich ang yes. pinakaoda. Then the second is the second one is Jeremy. Si Miss Jeremy. Yes, then the third one the is the third one is yes po. Uh, I admit, uh, Al Shamir. Yes. Yes po. Si Miss Al Shamir. Kasi ang details and yeah. stuff. And the fourth is Axel Kwe. Okay. And your fifth is? Um, actually, ang fifth ko, if, if, if bias lang talaga ako, honestly, <laughs> I, I don't put myself one of the top five. Pero I'm blessed. Pero ang fifth ko, uh, I think it's Frederick Rodriguez. He deserves also that kasi I've seen his efforts and the very things that he did. I think he is one of the top I five. I mean, looking at the creations, Hindi naman natin magpa-question yung efforts, de ba? Yes. Like, I have seen, I, I've told you na, looking at the pictures, ako mismo sabi ko, oh my God. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, I can do clothes, I can do wedding gowns, na medyo paminsan intricate na, paminsan mas masyado na siyang uh, sabihin nating uh, stressful. What more to actually draw an inspiration tapos gawan mo siya into life. Yes. Correct. So those those are your top five. Yes. Oh, yes po. Okay. Now they say you cannot please everybody. Yes po. Correct. Yes po. Uh, I, we will not be mentioning names. Not to, not for us to be safe, but to be honest, let's be honest also to ourselves. That there are also others who actually questioned about your placement. Yes po. Uh, probably they are telling that first time mo nga na sumali, bakit ka na place? Diba? Uh, ang sa akin lang, uh, Ian, is uh, yung sa loobin mo, to those people who actually question you, ano yung masasabi mo sa kanya? Actually, like, I never heard, honestly, I never heard any criticism about the placement of me sa mascota. Instead, I've heard support. I've heard congratulations and thankful ako beyond everything kasi despite na I'm a newbie first timer and then first timer din first timer din naka placer thankful ako to everyone thankful now, ako now, now you've said that there are support most yes, probably papa. because you are surrounded with people who love mm -hmm. you just in case mm -hmm. you've heard that I'm um, just in case what will you feel well, I will feel hurt, I will feel bad about it, but eventually, I will ignore it. Because I'm the kind of person that hindi ako naga, naga take in ng negativity. Instead, I take positive vibes. Because there, there's a lot of things happening na kasi. Uh, I will not also be mentioning someone who I have had happened to have a chit chat and yeah. talk. Uh, ang sabi nga niya sa akin, hindi ko lang i-mention ang name niya. Ang sabi lang niya sa akin, looking back at the previous mascota competition, it does not guarantee a, a designer if you choose and if you use a high quality fabric na masyadong mahal, it doesn't guarantee you the placement at all because ang pinaka-importante nga daw sa mascota is how you deliver, paano mo ikinento sa judges ang, ang, ang inyong representation and uh, how beautiful the execution is. Yes. Oo, ayun nga. So, that's very good yan. I know, you know what, uh, I, sabi ko nga, uh, I don't know how, 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 
Ah, ito, ito yung ina-expect ko na talaga yung sagot mo from you. Sabi ko ka, kahit anong itapon mo kay Ian na mga bad negativity, he is always a positive person. And probably, that also reflects during the presentation of the, ano. Ah, ito naman, syempre, hindi mo maiwasan. <laughs> Masyado ba akong negas sa vlog na ko? But, but anyhow, doon sa mga hindi na, hindi, hindi na bibelieve sa'yo, doon sa mga meron pa rin question sa capacity what is your message to them? Uh, my message to them is just be there stand by and see me grow as a person <laughs> parang yes, relax po. chill calm chill lang, lang. We'll grow. eventually lahat tayo may time you have your time I have my time all of us have our time and that day will come yeah, po, eventually Yeah. At, at sa lahat ng mga amateurs like I for myself Ian like I've been creating gowns na but never sumagi pa sa isip ko sabi ko nga ang biro ko lang ha sabi ko pa hindi pa ako naloloka para subali <laughs> hindi dahil sa hindi dahil sa anong, any other reasons because you know the expenses the amount of time and effort the amount of research the amount of intellectuality Basically, palang feeling ko, I'm not yet fitted for that certain competition. Now, sa mga lahat din na gustong sumubo, yeah. gustong ma-try, what is your message to them? Uh, my message to everyone, uno lang, do what you love. And as long as hindi ka nakakatapak ng tao, you don't do wrong against people, walang ginagawang mali, then do it. Uh, draw an inspiration and make it a passion. And always remember, never ever ever forget na beyond everything you do, always thank God. The ideas that you have, the very energy that we give to a very thing, we, yun lang ang sasabihin ko, never forgot God. Kasi without Him, we are never who we are. Yun. And the learnings, the experiences in life, it will add up. It grew us as a person. That's my message to everyone. Go lang, continue lang. And in case man na not all of us achieve, not all of us tagana or eventually or abla kita, not all of us dumadating dun sa point na to what we expect. Go lang, continue lang. Continue to grow. Continue to develop yourself. Eventually, you will realize na ay ganito na pala ako ngayon. I, I'm not like before. I, I've been here and hindi ako na-stuck dun sa lugar na yun. Yun lang. Eventually, there will be a 2022 Mascota competition. Yes, As at, at being in place sa top five, you carry the burden yes, of fighting for your place. Yes, Probably on that place or even higher. Hopefully. Correct? Because <laughs> you, when you go on competition, you don't expect, of course, to lose. Yeah, yeah. You always expect to win and um, go for gold, sabi nga nila. Now, next year, Ian, Will you still join? Uh, yeah, I will if strong. Strongly, uh, yes, yes, I will join. Okay, yes, I will. So whatever it is, good luck, Ian. Thank Once you. again, congratulations. Like I have seen how passionate you are. Sinabi ko na to kanina. Like everybody deserves to win, but all those and all those who are at the at the top five, they all deserve. You all guys deserve. As I have said always, you are all guys are so amazing. So if you happen to like and love this vlog, guys, please do not forget to write your comments what you think about our vlog, and of course, do not forget to like and share and subscribe my channel. Once again, Ian. Maraming 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 you. Thank salamat you for from the you bottom so of my heart. Isang message lang, the ba isang pagpapaalam lang, go ka kaagad. Yes, so, And um, uh, hindi man siguro monetary assistance, but you know my placement when it comes to support, yes, when it so. comes to encouragement. Yes. And continue what you love to do. And uh, you also inspired me a lot. Thank Sabi ko nga, sabi nga, sabi nga, di ba, if Ian can, why can't I? Why can't you? Sa lahat ng mga amateurs na gustong magsimula, di ba, hindi, it doesn't mean that you have the proper training, it doesn't mean that you have the title and the certificate of becoming a designer, it, it doesn't hinder you anymore to go and push and reach for your dream, correct? Yes, as Yan. long as you have the passion to mm -hmm. do it, and go for it. Laban lang.
Once again, maraming maraming salamat. Again and again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Mga kasaysay, it has been a wonderful time having with you here. Very relaxed, very comforting ang ating ambience. Kasi siguro, very relaxed ang ating guest. Once again, thank you, thank you so much. At isang kasaysayan na naman po ang dumaan. Once again, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, guys. Ako pa rin po, si Cyril Kent Lagman, na ninyong baklang hindi mayaman, walang kagandahan. Ngunit ang hatid sa inyo ay kasi yan, Ian, complete this statement. I am Ian Salvador and... I am Ian Sal Salvador and laban lang. <laughs> Akala ko sasabihin niya, I am Ian Salvador and I am the fifth player of the Bus Kota Festival 2021. <laughs> Guys, maraming maraming salamat po. Up until my next vlog, Vaya Con Dios. Y muchísimas gracias. ¡Muah!